Spicy Kicks. On today's show, something new, but yet something very, very old. What is it? Well, I'm sure a lot of you already know. This is a original Tamiya Lancia Rally on 58040. It's on a chassis ORV, which is the off-road vehicle. You probably know this chassis more from cars like the Frog and the Brat. I'm not quite sure what Tamiya was really thinking when they uh, came out with this. I get the feeling that someone at the company liked the look of this rally car and obviously it was very successful and they like, oh yes, we want to bring out this kit. But at the time they didn't have a chassis that was more suited for a rally car. And someone must have gone, let's just put it on the frog chassis. Because the chassis is not suited for this body whatsoever. And you can see the compromises that were required to make it fit. I mean, look at these wheel arches. The original car never had wheel arches like this, um, but they did and they released it. I'm not sure what the numbers of the unit sold and things like that, but it's become very rare now and they're getting harder to find. I mean, it's getting on a bit. I mean, this was originally released back in 1983 and only ran for two years before it was um, discontinued. So if you're thinking about it, you're looking at this one is minimum 34 years old. So you can understand that they're becoming more and more rare, especially as the bodies are so fragile. So I'm really chuffed that I found a really, really good quality one. The body is in great shape with no damage. Um, what am I gonna do with this car? Well, I'm gonna restore it back to mint condition if I can. The body I'm happy with, I'm just going to take all the stickers off. I'm going to uh, repaint it because this car hasn't been painted. This is the original plastic color. So I will repaint it, then I will try desperately to get original stickers for it. I'm not paying stupid money for them. So if I can get some at a reasonable price, I will go original stickers. If not, I'll just get some MCI stickers and I will just fit them instead. The body itself is in actually really good condition. There's no uh, damage. Normally they crack across the front uh, uh, impacts but this one is actually in really good condition so it just needs a paint and new stickers uh, also it's got uh, lighting but the lighting needs to be sorted out um, so I've got a few of those to replace and I'll work on that side of it paint the driver apart from that doesn't need much at all really it's got a broken front plastic uh, mount but I've got a replacement so all I've got to do is dismantle it, fit that. The rest of the car runs perfectly fine. You can see the chassis has done almost no running whatsoever. The story that I was told about this car is the original owner built it, drove it, crashed the front, broke the plastic mount, and then just put it on the shelf and never got round to finishing it. Also, some of the stickers are missing. There should be additional stickers along here which I actually have got the original stickers, but they were never fitted. Not sure what happened there. The tires are basically showing no signs of wear whatsoever. So I guess the car was driven once or twice, broke, and then never, never was driven again in all these years, which for me is fantastic. So it doesn't need a great deal of love. It's got upgraded frog suspension, but I have the original brand new suspension as well. So I could change it back to be completely stock. The motor's been upgraded as well. I think that's about it. So, yeah, I will be bringing out a new video of it being um, repaired at the front, and then I'll do a body re rebuild video coming out soon. I just wanted to show you what I had, as always, and I will add it to the list of to do. So, probably in the next few weeks or so, there's a few other big builds that are coming along then I will get round to doing this one. It's pretty good as it is. Um, I'd like to see it driving, so I'll give that a bit of a go. But there you go. So that's my Tamiya Lancer Rally. Anyway, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.